hello youtube family welcome back to my youtube channel well my good name is elsie kokonda here and um, if you're new to this channel can you subscribe like and comment yes and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support thank you so much for loving me thank you for being there for me i really really appreciate so yesterday i had an encounter with god yeah, today is 12th of August, so you said it was 11th. Um, I was sleeping, how it happened. And during noon, I was sleeping and I was, I had examinations, like I had a paper to sit for like the following day, which is today. And I was reading, reading, reading. God told me to read the Bible, I resisted, I was like, no. Let me read the books. Uh, the, the, like the people were going to do are so hard, so I couldn't risk. Can you imagine? So that's how. It, that is the explanation I gave God. So um, I fell asleep. I don't know how. Like at at noon, yes, and I slept off. When I slept off, I I really don't know. I had someone knocking on my door. So someone was knocking on my door. And I tried so hard, so hard to wake up and go. And no, I tried so hard to shout, to tell the person that I was coming. And then I was like, I am coming, I am coming. But this person was still knocking on my door. And I was like, why is this person knocking on my door? Yet I've told the person that I am coming. Then all of a sudden I turn. I was sleeping like this side, then I turn like this. And then I was seeing my body. And then I saw my body and I was like, am I dreaming? Is it real life? Oh, and it was real life. I saw my body. And this is my soul that was seeing my body. Oh my God. I've always had such stories and today it happened someone continued knocking i'm like i'm coming i thought it was a joke i tried lifting my leg it was so hard it was like the food pounds and pounds of things it was so heavy i couldn't even lift it down and i was like oh god is this real or then all of a sudden a voice talks to me and then it tells me this is how my people die i always give my people chances when they're still on earth but this is how they die when they are not prepared because you're also not prepared then i was like but god help me help me let me go back at least and i say i'm sorry and then and and then i come back then i was like very many people have always been pleading to me very many people this side have always been pleading to me requesting me to come back to the world and do what i sent them to do but i've not always been giving them chance and the reason is none other than me already giving you chance when you when you're on planet earth you already have chance to do what i want you to do but people misuse the chances People misuse their chances. Very many people are this side telling me that. But that is how people die. People have to prepare. They always have to be prepared because they don't know when I am coming back and they don't know when I am calling them. And I was like, yes, God, I'm really sorry. Kindly take me back. Then I was like, but Elsie, you used to serve me. Elsie, you used to pray. Elsie, you used to fast. You, you used to read the Bible. You used to live that righteous way. I would like my servant to live. But what happened? Elsie, what happened? You need to live. You know, this voice was... I don't know how I can... The way I'm talking, that is how it was. 
and then he was like elsie you need to leave these things focus on me go back to you start praying you change turn turn to me pray to me worship me you first look for me go tell those people to get saved go and preach the gospel go and tell those people to get saved go and tell those people that i'm coming back any time from now go and tell those people that they don't know that they are dying and it will happen as fast as you have seen this happening because people i had just slept like this and then it happened so god told me tell my people to always be prepared then turn back to me and you see sometimes we really do not know whether we are sinning or not but me i thought i was even living a righteous life god told me this is how my people die and they think they're going to heaven but they are not go and tell them go and tell them then he, he after telling me how how uh, i have to turn back to him uh, how i have to come and preach the gospel to the people he told me i'll see i've given you the last warning go back and serve me do not sin anymore and then he pushed my soul back to my body but before even pushing my soul back to my body i've not told you that i tried forcing myself back to my body and it refused and that's how i got to know that god's grace is sufficient in our lives he's always there to do things for us hmm? god's grace is sufficient in that only lifting your leg only even doing this it is god's grace but we take it for granted we do not mind we think it has to it is the story of the day that's what we always think but people Make, get to know that God's grace is sufficient enough. That's one of the things I got to know. Number two, always plead to God because always He is there to listen and answer and understand. Even the times you feel like you have sinned, even the times you feel like you've done wrong, you feel like what you've done is beyond sin. He's there to understand. He's there to listen. You people, my spirit was out. But because of me pleading to God, he listened. I even tried forcing my body inside. Inside my... I mean, my soul inside my body. And it refused. It all refused. It was all in vain. What does that mean? God does things the way he wants them to do them. Number two. He's, he either says no, he, oh yes, he has those two. He either accepts or not. So whether you want it, whether you don't want it, when he has said yes, it is a yes. And when he has said no, it is a no. So stop, stop relying on people being there. Let me go and I ask someone whether I can do this. God is the source of all answers. He's the source of all answers. I don't know why people rely on people. I don't know. Anyway, yesterday was really a blind. Like it's it's like someone came and made me realize. I don't know. Open my spiritual eyes. Made me realize that oh, God is everything. Because guys, I tried my level best to force my my soul inside like my body and it had refused until i pleaded to god why don't you always plead to god when i whenever you are doing wrong why don't you plead to god to give you the grace to turn away like to turn back to him because you alone you cannot you cannot you cannot you will sell not do this and then you end up doing it you cannot do you remember where Paul said, I, I do what I don't want to do and I don't do what I, I want to do? Because of because it is God's grace that helps you. But if you're like, you do this, you will not. I can come here and I'm like, I've changed, I've changed, I confess and do what. But then 
we have to see the actions. You people, you don't know the day you're dying. Yesterday it happened abruptly in that I couldn't expect it. I could not. I didn't even feel that I was going to die like before. But God gave me a second chance. You might be there when something is happening in your life. Maybe you have addictions in life. Maybe you you abuse drugs. You cannot be there without, you know, taking drugs and all that. You cannot be there without taking alcohol. Pray to God, your people. Pray to God. Plead to God. Let God give you the grace to change. We will not see that change abruptly, but we will see it gradually. It will, like everyone will start looking at you and they will be like, oh, this person has changed and all that. But we know very well we are not doing well with God. We know very well something is not right with God. And we still do the wrong things. Just imagine God coming back right now. What are you going to tell him? Yet he gave you a chance. Yet he gave you a chance to stay on earth. Whether for 10 years, whether for 20, whether for... So you people, you need to change your ways. You need to turn back to God. Because he is the source of wisdom. He is the source of every blessing in this world. That's why he says, seek first the kingdom of God and all shall be added unto you. We need to seek the kingdom of God. We need to prepare for the groom. We do not know when the groom is coming back. And by that time, he will not listen to us because he has given us that time. He has called us. He has selected us. So let us do his work. I thank God for the second chance he gave me but also let that be a lesson to you out there turn to god listen to what he is telling you and yes do the need for ask for god's grace let me tell you when you have god's grace he will give you direction ask for god's grace ask for god's direction ask for the holy spirit to lead you to mentor you to guide you, to convict you when you've done wrong, to convict you when you don't have to go somewhere. You know, there is, like there's sometimes you don't need to go that path, but then you go and maybe you find problems that what ask the Holy Spirit to always convict you. And also, ask Jesus Christ to cleanse you in his precious blood and help you protect you anyway that's it for today that is the encounter i got i was like i will not take any other more excuses i have to come and tell you people so if you're not yet saved please 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 get saved get saved the bible says in john 3 3 no one will enter the kingdom of god without him or her getting saved accepting the lord jesus christ as your personal and, and savior and then romans 10 10 says a person accepts with their heart and speaks with their mouth thank you so much like comment and subscribe bye <laughs>